Hello, welcome to this lesson on potential dividers, sometimes called voltage dividers. We'll also look at a very useful formula called the potential divider formula. An advanced warning, a bit of algebra is needed but not too much. This is the simplest form of the potential divider. All it is is two resistors in series so the same current goes through them. Resistor 1 has a voltage 1, sorry, a voltage V1 across it, and resistor 2 has a voltage V2. The overall voltage is V. And what the two resistors in series are doing are simply splitting or dividing that overall voltage V into two separate voltages, V1, V2. Voltage or potential difference is being split into two. That's why we call this a potential divider. Now it could be more than two resistors, but we're going to keep to the simple case of two resistors. If you've got a pen and paper and a calculator, you may like to pause the video to try the questions as we go through the working. So here's the first problem, which I'll go through in a moment. A potential divider, 3 ohm resistor and a 12 ohm resistor in series. 10 volts in total applied. What are the values of V1 and V2, the voltages across the separate resistors? If you want to pause the video and have a go for yourself, I'll give you the answer in a moment. Well, one way of doing it is this. You can say that the total resistance, because they're in series, is 3 plus 12, it's 15 ohms. Therefore, the current would be voltage over resistance, it's 10 volts applied to 15 ohms, so it's I is V over R, 10 over 15, I'm leaving that as two-thirds of an amp for the moment, two-thirds of an amp, it's not a final answer, so a fraction is okay, as an intermediate step. The voltage across V1, V is IR, it's a current through resistor 1 times its resistance, it's two-thirds of an amp times 3 ohms, so that's 2 volts. V2 is the current through it times its resistance. It's two-thirds of an amp times 12 volts. It's 8 volts. Notice the 2 and the 8 add up to the 10. That's a way to check the working is OK. We could, of course, have worked out V2 simply by, by subtracting 2 volts, which was V1, from 10. OK, now... We do this sort of calculation quite often in, in electricity, electronics, so it would be useful to have a more efficient or quicker way of working out V1 and V2. I'm going to derive a formula which lets you do just that. So let's look at our problem. I've used symbols rather than numbers, but we're going to do the same calculation in symbols. R1 has a voltage V1 across it, R2 has a voltage V2, the overall voltage is V, and the current that flows through both resistors is I. First of all, let's get an expression for the current I. Well, I is the total voltage over the total resistance. It's V divided by R1 plus R2, because the resistors are in series. Now, how do I work out V1? Well, voltage 1, V1, is the current through resistor 1 times the value of resistor 1. It's I, which we've already got an expression for, times R1. So it's this, V over R1 plus R2, which is I, times R1. And I'm rearranging that into a more com um, conventional way of expressing the formula. V1 is V the original voltage, times this fraction, resistor 1 over the total resistance, R1 plus R2. Look at that format. It's the original voltage we're splitting up, V, times this fraction, R1 over R1 plus R2. That's the voltage across R1. Summarising that again, V1 is V times this fraction, R1 over R1 plus R2. Similarly, the voltage across V2 is the full voltage V times, well the fraction will be R2 over R1 plus R2. This is the potential divider formula. Don't forget of course you don't have to 
use it twice to get V1 and V2. V1 and V2 have got to add up to the voltage V. Once you've got V1, you can subtract it from V to get V2. Here's one for you to try. A 5 kilo ohm and a 12 kilo ohm resistor in series, making a potential divider. 8 volts applied. What are the two voltages, V1 and V2? Pause if you want to try this. Well, we don't really need to write the formula out. It would be acceptable just to put the numbers. V1 is 8, that's the voltage we're splitting up, times this fraction. It's 5 over the total. 5 over 5 plus 12 works out to 2.4 volts. We could then subtract 2.4 from 8 to give us V2. Or if we want to just demonstrate the method again, V2 is 8, the voltage, times the fraction 12 over 5 plus 12 works out to 5.6. The two voltages, of course, add up to 8. Here's another one for you. Three 5 kilo ohm resistors are connected as shown. Find VAB, VBC. VAB is the voltage between A and B, and VBC, the voltage between B and C. Pause if you want to try this one. Let me do it. First of all, don't fall into the trap of thinking the two resistors on the left side, one above the other, are in series. They are not because they don't carry the same current. Some of the current splits and goes through the third resistor. The way to do this is to turn the circuit into two resistors in series, into a potential divider. The two bottom resistors are both 5 kilo ohms. They're in parallel. If you have two equal resistors in parallel, the total is half of the individual resistance. So two fives in parallel, they are the same as a 2.5 kilo ohm resistor. What we've actually got is a 5 and a 2.5 kilo ohm resistor in series. The rest is easy. VAB, well, it's 8 times, and the fraction will be 5 over 7.5, because the total is 7.5 kilo ohms. It's okay to work in kilo ohms throughout, the units would cancel. That's 5.3 volts. VBC, well, we can take 8 minus 5.3 to give 2.7 volts. Here's another handy formula which is useful when dealing with potential dividers or resistors in series in general. Look, they have the same current going through them. Current is V over R, I equals V over R. For the first resistor, the current is V1 over R1. That's the current. For the second resistor, the current through it is V2 over R2. But these two things are the same current, so they've got to be equal. V1 over R1 equals V2 over R2. If you rearrange that, you can see that V1 over V2 equals R1 over R2. The voltage is proportional to the resistance. In other words, suppose this resistance, R2, is 9 times bigger than R1. The voltage V2 will be 9 times bigger than the voltage V1. They're, they're proportional. The voltage is proportional to resistance, providing the two currents are the same. That's very important. If they're not the same, this breaks down. It doesn't work. Here's one for you to try. Can you do it in your head? A 4 ohm and an 8 ohm what is V1 if V2 is 5 volts? Pause and have a think. Here's the answer. You don't really need to write anything down. 8 ohms is twice as big as 4 ohms. 8 over 4 is 2. So 5 volts will be twice as big as V1. It's 2.5 volts. V1 is 2.5. If you wanted, you could put the numbers in V1 over V2 equals R1 over R2, V1 over 5 is 4 ohms over 8 ohms. Gives you the same an answer. Easy enough to do in your head in that case. Here's a final problem for you to try. You can apply the potential divider concept for more than two resistors. 
So my question is, what is the voltage across a 10 ohm resistor in the above circuit? Pause if you want to think about it. And the answer is very simple. It's 50 volts. Why? Well, the total resistance is 7 plus 10 plus 3. It's 20 ohms. So look at the formula V2. The middle voltage would be 100 volts, that's the original full voltage, times a fraction 10 over, uh, 10 over 20, that gives 50 volts. OK, thanks for watching. Hope that was useful. There is another lesson on potentiometers, which are devices based on the potential divider. So you may want to look at the lesson on potentiometers.